In a previous video you saw me remove this transport from a Tascam 44 Mark II. Now I'm going to replace the belt. To do that you're going to need to remove one, two, three, four screws. A smaller Phillips head screwdriver is appropriate for that. I'm going to be cavalier and just leave the screws here on the tabletop. Don't be like me. Put them in a plastic container or something. If you're wondering why I've written the word dead on the motor, it's because the motor happens to be dead in this one. That doesn't change the demonstration of this in any way. Same two screws on the other side. As I remove this, there's a couple of things to notice. Both of these tabs are inside these tabs on the front. Also, there are these pins at the bottom of this plate that comes away with the capstan motor on it. Those pins are going to slot into little holes here where this wiggly finger is pointing at. In this case, this belt's actually okay. It feels a little bit dry, but I will replace it with this kind of wetter feeling fresh belt. There's a few ways you can go about this. You can try and um, get the belt sitting on the flywheel and wrap it around the pull at the end of this capstan motor before you fit it. That's what I'll try and do. All the approaches are kind of hit and miss. Sometimes I've ended up giving up doing it this way and then I'll just like leave it wrapped around the flywheel like that, shut it off and then kind of pull the loose end of the belt around the pulley once I've screwed it shut using like a pair of tweezers. Both are options, neither are easy. Even though I've done this a whole bunch of times before, we may have to use time lapse to get rid of the fact that I make failed attempts. Okay, so I've got it shut. I don't know if you can see, but I've actually got it wedged, the belt trap between the flywheel and the plate. So if I lift that up, turn it slightly. Okay, so that's sitting, that's sitting okay now. And um, just to point out again, this little pin is going into this hole. This little pin is going into this hole. These tabs are inside the plates on the front of the transport unit. These black clips, they're sitting beside the heads and the pinch roller. Of the screws we removed, two have washers, two don't. The ones without washers are the ones that go on the black clips. And once you've got the first one in, you can kind of start to breathe a bit more easily because it's a bit less likely that the belt's going to pop off again. So I'll put the other black plastic clip and unwashered screw in first. As the human being evolves into a sort of cybernetic creature, I think technicians will develop additional cybernetic limbs just in order to make tasks like screwing in screws and soldering fiddly things easier because fuck knows I could do an extra at least one hand, maybe two or three anytime I'm doing anything like this. With those ones with the black plastic clip in place, that should mean that these holes line up properly now. I find that if you try and put these ones in first, you can end up screwing it in too high and through one of these holes. I mean, that's why I was emphasizing the point about these pins at the bottom. Oh, for fuck's sake. Repairing four tracks isn't especially hard, but except on your patience. If I was a D&D &D character, my patience would probably be like about nine. Like, not so low that I get a minus one modifier on rolls on patience in a D20. But, you know, certainly not, you know, a 13 or anything where, like, I'm some kind of, like, patient savant. There's a bit of a meta reference to Dungeons and Dragons for you. Hope you enjoyed that. Hope that was relevant to your interests. Forgot to say while I was filming earlier, although this uh, transport came from a 424 Mark II, if you've seen the video I made with a 424 Mark III, it's the same transport until we get to these plugs. Shape of the plugs is, is different. You know, say you had a spares unit, Mark III, you know, it had a working motor but mixer issues and then you wanted to put that transport into Mark II. 
um, you could do it, you would just have to remove the little, I don't know, what do we call them? These little metal crimps from inside of these plugs and put them into the plug that fits into the board on the other unit. Third Island, who's another YouTuber that does four track repairs, did a video showing that this is actually the same transport in the Yamaha MT4X as well. 